So really, before I get into everything, I just wanted to let you guys know DVD is still a thing, man. COVID ain't really do much to to the brand. <laughs> Yeah, we still shopping, we still going, we still doing what we got to do online. Go ahead and visit www.displacedbydesign.com. Go ahead and check out our signature apparel. I'm working on uh, Collection 3 right now. Really, it's about to be epic. It's about to be mind-blowing. It's about to be revolutionary. It is about to... What are you waiting for? Go get your apparel. I think I like her, like her, like her, like her, like her. What's up, everybody? My name is William. I don't even know how to record still. <clears throat> What's up? It's your mother's favorite, William, and I am finally back with another video. Definitely wanted to give you guys a life uh, update, a brief little synopsis of what I've been up to uh, since we've last spoken uh, a year ago. It was last April when I posted my last video. I went, I went on a trip with my, with my at the time girlfriend and uh, her friends and my, and my best friend, uh, it's okay, it's okay! We on quarantine, we in lockdown, man. We social distancing. So I've been working on my brand and I've been working actually. I have a new job, so I've just been working. Uh, but I, I figured I'd take the time on my day off to actually speak to you guys. I figured I'd give you guys an update because I'm still getting questions about Finish Line. And as much as I would love to answer those questions, they're not paying me anymore, so why would I? Regardless of the facts, man, yes, um, I got fired from Finish Line. Now, if you have uh, been on my channel before if you're familiar with my channel I've done multiple videos at finish line I did a pros and cons in a day in a life part one and part two I started as a stock associate and worked my way all the way up to assistant store manager so I was essentially the number two in the store I was the co in a store uh, moved cities I actually moved I was in a relationship at the time uh, and I moved from my old store to a new city so right off of the bat um, I got the promotion and split I bounced so I didn't handle everything properly it was all reactionary and impulsive and, and self-serving I went into my new role uh, from stock to sales associate part-time then to full-time then to pre-assistant manager then to assistant manager but then to assistant store manager um, you know my transition it was all quick and then I ended up getting an offer from the corporate office to, to work out in Boulder I went from the bottom and all the way I did it I did that at finish line so i still know everything i need to know about that company i'm still very thankful for that company nonetheless i was doing some things that i shouldn't have been doing um, as far as the winter circle program is concerned i ain't really about to get into all of it on the video but if you have any questions again drop down in the comments find me on social media ask away it's been a crazy year uh since i've last spoken to you guys after i got fired lost my job at finish line i, I began managing a gym a fitness center. My mental and creative capacity was abysmal during my time working at the gym as an assistant manager because I would stand and work for nine to 10 hours, sometimes 11 and just, you know, sign up members. I sold three year memberships, which, you know, your boy can sell, man. That's, that's, that's one thing y'all know I could talk. I can talk that talk. I'm always talk that talk and walk that walk. But I wasn't walking my walk, so I ended up getting fired from the gym as well. I was really a bum. I was just not acting as if a manager should act uh, when I went to the gym because I really was not taking advantage of that opportunity that I was presented with after being fired. So I wasn't acting like a manager. I wasn't manager material, and I got fired from the gym. In doing so, I lost my relationship. I wasn't the best in my, I wasn't, I wasn't what she needed at the time. I wasn't what I needed for myself at the time. So, uh, man, I, I feel like this video, it just, it won't be enough. Uh, the year, man, it just, it's not enough to put into one video. I lost, man. I had a lot of losses within the past six months, but I've stayed consistent and I, and I've stayed, uh, on the path to improving my life. So yeah. Back, back to really why I'm here, man. It's not clickbait at all. I really got fired from Finish Line. Um, and then I started working at a gym, uh, managing a fitness center, and then I got fired from that job. And then I wasn't the best in my relationship. I mean, I was lying. I was just not at my best and I got dumped. But now I have a different job. I'm working with something, utilizing my degree a little more. And uh, I work at Full Locker actually, so. <laughs> My how the tables have turned and I lost two jobs and gained two jobs uh, because I stayed consistent. I made sure that I was doing what I had to do to improve my life, to continue to move forward in life. 
learning new things to improve my life, to make the, the quality of my life better. Losing my relationship hurt because this is the second time this same uh, woman has dumped me, bro, because I just wasn't at my best. We broke up for, for five months and we got back together, but I had never really healed. I never took the time to heal. So throughout all of this, I'm really learning that healing is important. Uh, healing and actually working on yourself, though I'm still trying to figure out what exactly that means, it's all important because that's the only way that you can move forward effectively. Uh, it's one thing to uh, say you get, get dumped, bro. It's one thing to jump into another relationship. It's one thing to jump into bed with someone else. And then it's another thing to actually take time to... <clears throat> I swear my voice cracked or I'm about to cry. Watch out. But then it's another thing to actually just like take the time to heal, learn from your mistakes, like not just acknowledge them and just be like, all right, I ain't gonna do it again. You're still gonna mess up. Uh, so unless you address it then and there, it's gonna always be a constant thing. It's gonna be a constant problem. It's gonna be a reoccurring issue. I've learned that healing is important. I've also read a good book, uh, Men Don't Heal, We Ho. I decided to take this time to actually heal and not ho. So, I mean, that's really it. Since last April, I've moved. I got a promotion. I got an offer from Finish Line Corporate Office, uh, but then I was terminated. Then I got another job really quickly, was terminated, lost my relationship again for the second time. I wanted to make sure that I was right. I wanted to make sure that I was good after the relationship. I wanted to make sure I was good and actually healed from losing two jobs within six months uh, before I actually decided to speak again bro as you can obviously see where i've been going through it i'm like a nomad right now mainly because of corona but still bro i don't i don't have a haircut i'm looking busted and rough out here thought my elbows are ash wow i didn't even think to put lotion on obviously so i just sat down just jumped on bro just jumped put the camera on and i just started recording definitely wanted to update you guys definitely wanted to say corona crazy because the world on lockdown man we shut down uh, if, if you or anyone uh, you know is going through some some stuff, man, if you've lost your job because of Corona or you, you lost your job prior to or you lost your job during Corona, man, or you just got out of a relationship, uh, I don't have the answers for you. I don't have it all the way figured out, but I know what has helped me in this becoming process. I've, I've learned what works for me and I can pass on the knowledge. What do y'all want to know? Y'all want to know about my new job? Y'all want to know about Foot Locker? Y'all want to know what I did to get over my breakup? I'm going to tell you right here and right now in this video, I'm not over it. I'm still thinking about her. I still hurt. I don't cry anymore. It was important. You lose someone important to you. That's big. You lost, And then the same with, I mean, it's all the same. All the loss is, 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 is a loss at the end of the day. It's an L. You just gotta learn from it and develop and you gotta be better than, than what you were. You gotta take a look at why you lost what you lost. So for me, I had to take a look at what I was doing at finish line. I had to take a look at what I was doing at the gym. Then I had to take a look at what I was doing in my relationship. And then I have to address it and I have to heal. I can't just ignore it or I can't just say, oh, that's what I was doing. I'm never gonna do it again. I have to actually address it. I have to actually sit and look and ask myself tough questions. Why was I doing what I was doing? And then I just have to heal it. I have to actually take time to heal it, to, to nurture it back to uh, good health, man. I have to sit and I have to neglect it when, it when it wants to act out, man. It's really a process. And I've kind of figured this process of healing out, but I haven't figured out how to heal completely. That's it. It's my life update. This video was kind of trash. It was like all over the place. It was a lot to fill you guys in on. I ain't got nothing else for y'all, man. It's just a quick life update. Go ahead and do what y'all gotta do to do what y'all gotta do during this time. But again, man, this is your mother's favorite, William. I'm out.